Hey, what's good, everyone? Look, Rice Man here. So, we got quite a bit of water on the ice this morning. So, we're here the next morning. Day, I don't know, two or three of the shutdown. Day three of the shutdown, day two ice removal. Uh, looks like a lot of water, but still quite a bit of ice here, especially in the corners. I feel the ice cracking underneath my feet, so I think it's lost its bond to the, to the concrete here. So, middle looks much thinner. Of course, the middle again, you can see some concrete right there. Okay, wow. So, ooh, ooh, look at that. Yeah, there's not much. Yeah, it's really soft right here. Look at that. You see the, as I walk, it's pushing water up. Okay, yeah, so we've definitely lost our bond. I'm stepping on it and I'm sinking. So, can't quite push it in with my hands here, but you can see as I'm walking, stepping on the ice here. Pretty cool. I kind of forget this little effect as you walk on the ice. It's pretty trippy. Yeah, so it definitely, it's definitely cracking underneath my feet. So center ice is melting. It's the highest spot, one of the higher spots right here. So just the paper and yeah, so wow. There's the mesh right there. Corner still got some good ice in here. The center of the ice because how the concrete, how they did the concrete is a little bit higher. So what I'm going to do basically today, spend the day, is bring the Zamboni out here, try to shave some, get some of the water off with the, the wash water. I'm draining the wash water tank already. I'm going to just do the best I can to try not to dig my blade in too much because it's just going to take it all out and stuff. So work my way. I'm just going to probably make, just kind of maybe do a cross cut, work my way back kind of towards this way get most of the water and ice off and just kind of slowly have at it. I did check the brine pump. The return temperature is 32 degrees. When I left yesterday, about 15 hours ago, it was at 31. So it didn't really raise that much. But again, I've only removed the ice maybe eight, 10 times over the 20 years I've been here. It's because we keep our ice in for so long. Early on, we did it a little bit more often as well as we had that small sheet of ice. So, but lately it's been like every four or five years. So I can't say I'm an expert on it. I, one thing I was thinking about last night, I, go, I guess I have a lot of experience, but not a lot of knowledge. I mean, a lot of my knowledge comes from, I guess, experience, but if, if my experience is limited, my knowledge is limited. So that's kind of why I created this channel to share what I'm doing here so other people could kind of find out what's going on and for me to find out what other people are doing. So definitely go and comment below. Um, don't want to hurt my feelings if you say, hey, that's maybe not the right way to do it. There's a better way. As long as you say it respectfully, I'm definitely open for anyone's thoughts and opinions and and you know information or knowledge that they've gathered and want to share on how to remove ice and the best way to do it and things like that and install the ice and anything other videos i've done in the past too just i've definitely welcome the the input and the, the knowledge and the advice and we'll keep it like that because i'm babbling let's go ahead and get some ice out
So it's about four o'clock here on day three. Brian return temperature is up at 33, so things are starting to melt. I came through and busted this little channel out to get some of the water to start going. Hopefully by tomorrow, which I don't think anything will happen too much tomorrow. I may start pushing some water out. But on Friday and Monday, we're going to get some people in here. I think I just may wait to Monday and everything. There's still a little bit of ice here. But there is still quite a bit of water. You come down here in the middle of the ice here. Quite a bit of water. So I think I'm just going to wait till Monday. Come with a bunch of squeegees that I just kind of prepped up on there. We'll start pushing this water right out that door right there. You get five, six guys going. It'll take a few hours. Tomorrow's report may not be exciting, or or I guess the following day, you'll get this tomorrow, but the following day report may not be very exciting, but I'll do a report nonetheless. So, but I think that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you learned something, and like the local ice man says, <laughs> stay cool.